I read a book once about this mom who like put razor blades. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> What's happening, everyone? It's Justin. And I'm Brooke. As recipe developers, a huge part of our job is to spend a lot of time in the grocery store. And what we do there is look for the best deals, make friends with everybody that works there, and try to find the most amazing seasonal ingredients to get nice and inspired. And on Grocery Showdown, we are putting those skills to the test and decide what stores we're getting. We're gonna spin my big janky wheel. Big it's, it's really janky. It, the paint job is terrible. Then we're gonna head to the grocery stores and see what ingredients and deals we can find. Then we're gonna come back into this kitchen and go head to head to figure out who makes the best version of each meal. There's two ways to win. One, have the cheapest meal. Two, have the best tasting meal. On today's episode, we are cooking burgers. Let's go. I love a good burger. But there are some rules to this competition. The first being, we only can spend $25 for four servings. Four servings? Yep. I thought it was two. No, it's four. Four burgers, baby. Rule number two, spices and oils are not included in our budget. Mm -hmm. Rule number three, whenever possible, we want to be using the grocery store brand. We don't mm -hmm. want to be going in and like using like no name the brands. most delicious, most expensive things. We want to be like seeing what these grocery stores can provide. And last but not least, we only have 45 minutes to make enough burgers to feed four people. Yeah, okay. four, four people. people. Let's do this. <laughs> Stop every time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Double. Okay, wait, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. Yes. <laughs> Don't show the back. The back is covered in paint. Wow. Oh, Ooh. nice. Wow, who is the arts and craft god that did this? Thanks. Our grocery stores today are Trader Joe's and Aldi, and they kind of have like similar vibes in more ways than one. What is that? So it's really, this is interesting. It's like a story of familial struggle, something <laughs> we can all relate to. So apparently like Aldi was started in Germany by these two brothers, um, and then they had a disagreement, I think in like the 60s or the 70s, over whether they were gonna sell cigarettes in mm. the grocery store. So then like one started Aldi Nord, North, and then the other one started Aldi Sud, which is South, and they've like existed in Germany for a really long time as Ooh. those two grocery stores. When they wanted to expand to the US, one kept that Aldi branding and the other bought out a guy who started, this guy named Joe, who started a grocery store in Pasadena, California, and that's Trader Joe's. They actually are like fraternal brands battling it out on the grocery store stage, and we're just like gonna help contribute to that feud. So I'm a little bit conflicted about whether I want Trader Joe's or mm -hmm. Aldi. Trader Joe's has amazing store brand products. You don't ever need to actually find a name brand in there because all the Trader Joe's brand stuff is really that good. Mm -hmm. But Aldi, they let their cashiers sit down. So they're for the people. <laughs> And I like that. I didn't even know that. Yes. I'm gonna go hold you. Trader Joe's line actually gives me so much anxiety. So maybe <laughs> I want Aldi deep down. I think maybe that's what it is. All right, you wanna give it a spin? <sighs> I'm nervous. No, it's gonna be good. All right, come on. Give it a good hard spin. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, I'm low-key psyched. I didn't want Aldi at all. <laughs> I definitely wanted Trader Joe's. Not only am I so... <laughs> Happy that I didn't get Aldi. I actually have the perfect outfit. Hold on, hold on. Look what I did. I feel bam, set up. Mm, 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 did you rig mm, this mm, wheel? Because there's no way. I did just have the thought that someone might ask me about something at the store when I go. <laughs> let's get in our little cars and let's drive on over to the store. We're going to fill up our cars with all of our ingredients and our beautiful reusable bags because we hey, care about the earth. At Delish, we really do care about the environment. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go, except we're driving to these stores. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna go and we're gonna fill up our cars. We're gonna come back here. I'm gonna kick your butt. Yeah. Because I can't remember Absolute if I can say ass. Worst of luck to you. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> You can't change your mind again. I can. You sure? I <laughs> will kill you. <laughs> Right, Brooke, let's do this. 
quickly, Brooke's voice is gone, and it's fine. It's fine. Now I'm, I have even more of an advantage because I feel like the louder person tends to win. I actually miss the sound of my own voice, which I feel like I should probably get help for. <laughs> it's fine. This is kind of sexy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear some sultry tones. Y'all ready to make some burgers, baby? <laughs> <laughs> you went to Aldi and you came back a broken human being. Aldi broke me down, y'all. We, we barely communicated throughout the shopping, but I was getting frantic texts from Brooke, apparently, so I'm very excited to see what you picked up. I'm excited to see what I picked up, too, because I honestly <laughs> I don't remember, don't remember fair. what made it into the cart at this point. I got into Trader Joe's, honestly, in the car. I was thinking about, I was like, all we said was burger. Mm -hmm. We didn't specify it had to be beef by any means. Mm -hmm. I'm starting my haul with shrimp. Shrimp! This was $9.99, so like already blew about two-fifths of my budget. So I put myself in a little bit of a, of a, of a situation, but um, I think I kind of made it work. But I'm psyched. I think this is going to be delicious. Um, <laughs> I then excitedly hustled over and got burger buns, and I wanted brioche buns, and I was very excited about the price until I realized that it's only four to a package, which is insane. But I wanted the brioche. I wanted it cloudy, delicious, because the regular burger buns kind of looked like a bummer. Speaking of, I talked about like needing to like breadcrumb it, mm -hmm. and actually, like I have to give credit where credit's due. I was having a little bit of a meltdown because the breadcrumbs were really expensive. They were like $3 something mm -hmm. for like a bag of like standard breadcrumbs, Damn. which seemed insane to me, and then, Chelsea was helping me on the day she was shooting, and she noticed the English muffins cost a dollar seventy-nine, and they're actually more weight English muffins than they were breadcrumbs. So I'm making these. These are going to be English muffin encrusted um, <laughs> shrimp burgers, which I think it honestly might be really good. Maybe. First of all, Chelsea, I didn't get no help. <laughs> Every time I ask Julia, "Hey, sis, what do you think?" She was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> What is this? Because it's a competition for you two, not for us. That's Julia was actually throwing me curveball. She was like, I don't know, what if you put this uh, this, uh, this random ingredient that nobody would ever want on a burger on your burger? And Chelsea and I have a very special relationship. I thought. And that just might be saying something about you and Julia's friendship. Uh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I want mayo on this burger. The mayo was something like almost $4 Jesus. for a jar of mayo. And I knew I needed a binder anyway. I was gonna use mayo if I could only buy mayo, but since it was so expensive, I just did eggs. And I'm gonna make my own mayo. So cute. And then I'm gonna bind it with this. I have to make breadcrumbs, I have to make my own mayo, and then I have to make the burgers. It's gonna be, I'm gonna be a little stressy, sweaty boy. <laughs> there was also a tartar sauce that looked half decent. Mm -hmm. And something I wanted to talk about for Trader Joe's in general, and also like a lot of stores, but Trader Joe's advertises this. You can try anything. Anything that is like ready to eat, they'll mm -hmm. let you try. Mm -hmm. They have to let you. I asked the manager and he was like, oh yeah, of course you can, but we have to go through the proper channels, which I thought was a very funny thing to say, which all that meant was bringing me over to the sample station and mm -hmm. letting me use one of the paper cups. Mm -hmm. But um, I was just trying tartar sauce with my fingies in the middle of Trader Joe's. Um, I didn't really love it and it was expensive, so I ended up not going for it, but that's like the whole point, which is honestly like big tip, like Trader Joe's like will let you try anything. Don't abuse it, don't like, create a buffet of all the amazing snacks that are above the freezer aisle, like all the cookies and whatever. But if like, if you're borderline about something, like you should try it. Um, Aldi does not have that rule. So there were a lot of things that I just got. And, uh, <laughs> you're gonna figure it out. I'm hoping that they are not nasty. To go inside the burger, I have scallions. Mm. These were $1.50. And then I also had a jalapeno. Um, I think this was 29 cents. And it's also just kind of like a picture perfect. Look at him. He's so cute. Whoop. I love him. If I have time, mm. I'm gonna make a side of sweet potato chips, if I have time. But like, the thing was, this was one of the biggest sweet potatoes they had, but it was round per item across the board. So this was 89 cents. I got two limes. The limes were 49 cents each, which again, insane what citrus is going for at these stores. I don't understand what could be Why so did you get two? Because I, I you don't want them. To. Well, I had it in the budget, and I think I might. Because the reason why is because I'm making a slaw. 
and I my primary acid I want it to be mm. lemon juice. Lime juice. I think I'm going for like a vaguely like Southeast Asian like. And I know that's like problematic to just call something <laughs> Asian, but like I wanted to have like. I mean. Chili and soy and whatever. The problematic thing seems like you forgot that we have a budget. Yeah, fair enough. Do you want to guess what you think my vinyl total is? Twenty four ninety eight. It's like pretty close. Twenty four eighty. <laughs> I literally I and I honestly wasn't even confident. I saw it being run up, and Chelsea and I gripped each other's arms, and we were like, whoa, yeah, 2480. I knew I wasn't gonna win on budget, but I'm hoping that like, with it being a shrimp burger, with having some sweet potato chip, like I wanted to go whole hog on this, and hopefully it'll pay off. So you almost blew the budget, uh -huh. and the burger is from the sea. Yep. So. <laughs> All right, let's, if you're so confident, let's see what you got. I will say anything that went wrong at Aldi was solely my fault. It had nothing I to do with- I gotta tell you, I fully believe that. Thank you. <laughs> it had nothing to do with Aldi. I think my idea like completely unraveled because I, I made the cardinal mistake of not doing a lap first around the grocery store. I went in and I was like, I know what I'm doing. I know where to find everything. Uh -huh. Then I thought I knew where to find everything, but I was really wrong. And I'm gonna tell you why I was wrong. But first, I'm gonna show you the kind of meat that I got. Got these pre-made burger patties. Oh, dang. $7.16 uh, for four portions of burger. My original plan was to do like, I was like, I'm gonna do like a mushroom and Swiss burger. It's gonna be so good. Couldn't find Swiss. There's two cheese sections. Mm -hmm. There's a regular scumbag cheese section and then there's a fancy cheese section. Uh -huh. I found the fancy cheese section and I said, oh, this must be all the cheese. There's no other cheese in the store. They wouldn't have Swiss. Why did they have that? The cheapest cheese in the fancy cheese section was blue cheese crumbles. This and is a pretty divisive ingredient. It is. Some folks hate blue cheese. I personally love. We gonna learn today. It's gonna make sense in a minute, I promise. I promise. For the buns, I had a cheaper bun than this, but I was like, hey, if I'm cutting corners everywhere else, I might as well get like a slightly nicer bun. Mm. These were 269 for eight buns. Yeah, that's insane. Not four. Oh no, now I am actually nervous. I'm gonna <laughs> I feel show like, you. I feel like Good, be nervous. I'm gonna show you all the ingredient that derailed my entire time at Aldi. Mm. Is this. What is it? Buffalo wing seasoning mix. Whoa. Now, if I were at Trader Joe's, I would've been like, can you bust the pack open so I can taste it? Mm -hmm. But I was at Aldi, so I have no idea what this tastes like. We went down the sale aisle in Aldi, and at this point, like, my cart was already full of my mushroom burger ingredients, and then I saw this, and like, my brain wiped completely clean. <laughs> I put everything back and I started to rebuild my burger. Julia said, so let me get this straight. You are going to change your entire burger idea based on a seasoning, which is not included in like your final budget count. Like, cause we get seasonings and oils. Yeah, 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 yeah. For free. No. And I stared directly at her and I said, yes. <laughs> so that's why Aldi had me stressed a little bit. It was essentially like two shopping trips in one. I saw mayonnaise, like you said, mayonnaise is super expensive. I was gonna be like, I can get eggs, make mayonnaise. And I was like, even that's gonna be too expensive. So I got, this chunky blue cheese dressing for $1.95. So you can't have buffalo blue cheese anything without some celery. I'm proud of you. Thank you. That's delicious. This bunch of celery was $1.65. Mm. Last but not least, we got a similar ingredient. Kind of surprising, but not really, because mm. cabbage is like one of those infamously cheap things that you yeah. can get at the grocery store. So I also have a bag of coleslaw, and this bag of coleslaw was $1.39. My grand total was $18.82. I just, I can't, there's no way I could have done it. I guess I could have, you know, not done a shrimp burger. <laughs> but the minute I made that choice, I was like, I'm losing on budget. I want to try to see if I can win this way. And I think it's a, it's a gambit that I'm willing to take. But you won, you won a point, you won budget. I'm not surprised. Um, I think that this will be a growing theme throughout this series that <laughs> I will like try to milk as much stuff out of this budget as possible because I am not confident in myself as a cook and I need to compensate with expensive ingredients. <laughs> well, like we said, there's no tying in this competition. I already have one point, so this is looking like a big old W for me already. Does, um, does the taste of the dish cost like one and a half points so that like, even if I win. You know what, that's none of my business at this point. Fair, the math um, isn't mathing, just like us in the grocery store. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Okay. I'm scared. We've got our ingredients ready to go. Spices and oils are all fair game. We've got a fully stocked kitchen, so there's no equipment limitations. We can use whatever we can find. How much time do we have again? We're gonna have 45 minutes. I'm sweaty. Are you feeling good? <laughs> you feeling ready? I'm feeling great. All right, battle Trader Joe's versus Aldi starts in five. Four, three, two, one. What are you starting with? I'm gonna start with my burger prep first. 
and I'm gonna stuff these burger patties with some blue cheese, so it'll be like a blue cheese uh, dry Lucy instead of a juicy Lucy. You have the easier, like, you just have to like form the patties. I have to like make breadcrumbs and like make a whole burger mixture out of shrimp. I feel like that's your fault. It is. Okay. It is. <laughs> it is. What are you most nervous about? Honestly, I'm most nervous about this buffalo seasoning mix being nasty. Because if that's nasty, that kind of derails. <laughs> My entire plan here. So just in case the buffalo seasoning mix is nasty, I have some cayenne pepper and some chili powder that I'm gonna use to kind of like mimic a similar buffalo wingy kind of flavor. I am throwing these English muffin cubes in here. I wanna blitz them up to get them to like a crumb texture so that then I can toast them off or dry them out so that they're like a bread crumb. So I'm gonna smash these patties out a little wider. I'm gonna season them up and then I'm going to try to eyeball this blue cheese into four portions. We'll see how that goes. Let's hope this works. Yay! You know, it's always a joy when the food processor works the first time around and you don't have to re rework and rejigger. It's a moment of truth. I'm gonna taste it first. I don't know what's going on in here. I try to. Yeah. The heat is at the end. It's nice. It's not like explicitly um, buffalo necessarily, but it's definitely giving hot I mean, vinegary goodness. But what is buffalo? It's just hot sauce and butter and vinegar, right? You're putting the blue cheese in the burger? Yeah, I I'm gonna I lose. That. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. That's such a good idea. So blue cheese is in burger. I'm gonna take these babies. Oh no. And make a patty around the blue cheese. Okay. Oh, cool. got it. I would call it a Juicy Lucy, but I feel like blue cheese is kind of a dry cheese, so. Mayo, it's literally just like an emulsion of egg, sometimes acid, in this case, a little bit of vinegar, and neutral oil. I'm using grapeseed oil, which is like one of the best, better neutral oils, great for cooking, great for something like this. You can flavor it with a little bit of olive oil at the end, but if you were to make this with like fully olive oil, it would taste like kind of acrid and bitter. I'm inspired by a method by Kenji Lopez Alt, which is creating mayo with an immersion blender in a jar like this that fits it perfectly. I'm hoping it works. We're just gonna see what happens. Cause then I'm gonna have a broken emulsion and that's gonna be gross. I'm hoping it doesn't work. It looks like it's emulsifying. It's going pretty well for you. If that's not mayo, I don't know what is. I'm I'm very proud of myself. I feel like I feel like I've been hustling. <laughs> Genuinely I've been having nerves about this all f morning I and I so. am so hyped that this worked out. I feel like I've been hustled. Whoa. That's me. You're officially at 10 minutes down. That's Jesus. impossible. We're a quarter of the way through. That's literally impossible. I'm so scared. Oh my God. Um, for my mayo, I'm seasoning it largely with Old Bay. Old Bay is a phenomenal seasoning for seafood. Makes me think of like crab bakes, things for shrimp. I think that this is the perfect thing to top our shrimp burger. I'm gonna put a ton in here and uh, hopefully it's not too overpowering. What I'm gonna do is pinch off a little bit of one of these patties uh, and cook it up so I can check this seasoning. Okay, that pan is pretty freaking hot. Are you cooking I'm just testing for the seasoning. Oh, Jesus. I don't want to jeopardize the, the burger integrity. All right, so I'm just gonna eat this little tiny piece of meat. It's so cute. Okay, I feel like I can still season the outside somewhat aggressively and have it not be too salty. I love that you tasted the mixture by cooking it. Oh, I yeah. think that that is like an underrated cooking skill that like, isn't something that you would even learn in culinary school. It's like something that your grandmother would do. Right. And I do that for like meatballs, meatloaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm going to do that later with my shrimp mixture. Wow, what a copycat. I'm a copycat. I'm going to start making my slaw. So I'm going to chop up some celery. Then I'm going to mix it with that bad coleslaw I got. And then we'll see what happens after that. Oh no, these have tails on them. I didn't realize. And I remove the tails, then for about like a third of the shrimp, grind it up in the food processor to make a paste. And the rest I'm gonna like finely chop to have like a little bit of like some chunks in it while also allowing it to be like an emulsive patty that's like a whole mixture. I need to make my sauce. So I was gonna make a sauce from this blue cheese dressing with a little bit of this wing um, seasoning to make like a spicy blue cheese, <laughs> buffalo blue cheese kind of situation. Um, Cause I feel like with the slaw being so like crisp and refreshing, it'll maybe read a little bit dry. So I don't want that. So I'm gonna make a little sauce for myself really quick. I have no idea what this bun tastes like. So <laughs> I'm hoping it's not gross. I'm feeling actually pretty good. 
definitely get the blue cheese first, so I think I want a little bit more heat, but I don't know if I'm gonna get the kind of heat that I want from this seasoning mix, so I think I'm gonna add like a little straight cayenne pepper. Oh, that's a lot, oops. That might be more than I meant to add, but it's okay. It seems like you're burning over here. I, <laughs> burning and smoking are two very different things, That's chef. fair. I'm gonna season the outside of my burger balls with a little salt. I don't like that you're already cooking. That's that good. Me I'm, out. I'm glad that you were stressed. <laughs> What's in your mixture? So far, it's just shrimp, scallions, and lime zest, and jalapeno. Um, I'm gonna grind this up to a paste. I'm making a, um, a dimple in my burger so that it doesn't turn into a hockey puck on me. These are already really fat burgers, so I don't want them to turn into little burger balls. Smoke is crazy. Oh no. This sauce is still not quite as spicy as I wanted to be. Can I try it? Yeah. I feel like the sweetness from um, that buffalo dip is coming through. Yeah, it needs. A little bit, a little bit of. Do you want to try mine? Yeah. A little more acid. It's like really rich though, which I really like. That's that homemade mayo vibe, bro. Yeah, it's really rich. <laughs> All right, so that burger got a little blacker than I wanted it to. That's fine. The judge is not gonna get that one. It's all okay. <laughs> Everything is fine. Definitely smelling burnt in here, Chef. I don't know if that's on purpose, if it's like a char burger. Or... 100%. Oh, I yeah, forgot yeah. to mention these are uh, charred <laughs> buffalo blue cheese burgers, obviously. Um, <laughs> all part of the plan. I need to start thinking about my buns. I'm gonna toast my buns. I am not. You I kind of like a squidge, bud. a squidgy boy at times. Either that or I'm just making an excuse for the fact that I'm... Don't have time. <laughs> don't have time, <laughs> you don't have time to do that. So I'm gonna get some of this ridiculous cruddy burnt oil out of here so that my Judge Burger does not taste like burnt oil. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm adding a egg to my shrimp mixture. I'm gonna mix that all up. We should be in patty town. My eyeballs are on fire. Yay, patty number one, done. Oh, do I have enough for four patties? I don't really know. <laughs> you have nine minutes left. Okay. Yeah. All right. I told you. Ah. All right, I'm just going to throw one of these poisons because I don't have enough time. You can eat raw shrimp, I think. It's fine. Everything is fine. All right, where's my Stress menu? level 9,000. <laughs> I'm not melting more butter, so. Opening something new that I didn't know was here. I hope it's gonna make you okay. All right, here we go. Yeah. Can you comment on his using three I just feel like that's not a good idea for him. And as a friend, I want him to stop. As a competitor, I want him to keep doing what he's doing. I'm good. Okay, good. All right, you guys, you can start thinking about plating. Herb. Two minutes and thirty seconds. That's fine. That's nothing. Oh no, these chips are real freaking sad. But hey, how much time, Jules? 60 seconds. Oh, Whoa, that's Nelly. so good. Okay. One burger. Five. No. No. My like semi cooked <laughs> looking sweet potatoes. Okay. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Do you want to see what my potato chips look like? Oh, yum, yum, Yummy. delicious. <laughs> so good. I, I got a side on the plate. All, all no one should eat that side. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> it was hard. I've always thought about cooking on a cooking competition show. And I always knew that it would be like a mental brain drain. Mm -hmm. I'm like not physically tired as much as like my brain is just like nothing more for today. Honestly, I'm just kind of fixated on how much my hair smells like all that smoke that I had. <laughs> That's good though, you'll smell like burger. <laughs> you go home oh, and you'll be like, come here babe, let me give you a kiss. <laughs> you smell like burger. <laughs> I think that these both look really good. I think that we should be proud of ourselves. I'm excited to try your burger. I know you're excited to try mine, but that's mm. not the person that we're trying to excite here. Nope. Our judge, you might know her from the Delish channel. She has starred in Julia Tries Everything. She's the video director of the entire brand. Mm. Please welcome to Grocery Showdown, Julia Smith. Oh my God, she's taking so long. I just want to keep you laughing. Come on. It looks like a lot.
Yay! Woohoo! Darker hair too. Ooh. Thank you. Beautiful. New Julia. Thanks. All right. <laughs> any any thoughts or fears? We have to address the fact that I went shopping with you. Take it. Grab it. What was? It? Do that again. What was that hand all grab? Fingers, that was. All fingers. Go again. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's fine. You went shopping with me, but I want everybody to know she tried to derail me at every possible turn. I don't know. I'm sure she was like, I love Buffalo Burgers. But what I did do is watch a bunch of Julia Tries Everything episodes before uh, uh, she uh, To determine her taste? Yes. God damn, that was brilliant. You know, I have no loyalty to you None. or to Justin. Cool. That's yeah, so clear to me. When I ask a question, <laughs> here, this will be indicative. Okay. Who do you want to try first? Oh. <laughs> if, I went by, if I went by alphabetically, it would be Brooke. Okay, okay. no, no. No, that's no. what we're doing. Alphabetically. Alphabetical. Brooke. How's she cooking? Oh, God, what if it's. I rawr, mean, rawr. honestly, I am afraid of that. I'm not going to hold y'all. Oh, okay. Oh, no, me. there's some pink. So I am seeing the blue cheese. Damn. That looks pretty. Oh, that looks really very good. pretty. I'm excited. Are you getting. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> The blue cheese. The blue cheese. Okay. Yeah. Well, are you a fan of blue cheese in general? Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, wait. Also? Mm -hmm. Second bite. Second bite. Second bite. She mm -hmm. loves it. Oh, wow. Look mm -hmm. at that. I know that you were worried about burning them, but the little bit of burnt crispiness on it is delightful. It almost reminds me if you char broiled something. That's what I was going for, yeah. Uh huh. Hundred percent. The slaw isn't <laughs> the slaw isn't slawing for me. I'm not gonna lie. It but, can have a little bit more of a punch. Okay, okay. It's missing a punch okay. for me. Maybe from like an onion or something, like a scallion. Maybe a scallion. Aldi. It could have a scallion or an onion. Okay. The blue cheese has that punch. It has that great flavor. I mm. love how soft and squishy this bun is. I mean, it is also a toasted bun. I don't know if you checked. The sauce is very gentle because the looks of it—it it looks like it's gonna be really bright yeah. and bold, but it's not that. It's not that bold. Great. Ten out of oh. ten, hurt. Yes, um, ten out of ten. No, keep your thoughts and <laughs> prayers. To She's yourself. lying. It's okay. So I see we have the sweet potato. You should, I think you should start with the sweet just, potato just, chip. Should just, I try it? I, I would like I would like Chelsea to see the amount of oil that is pooled <gasps> on that. That's purposeful, obviously. That is a, oh, a bed of oil. <laughs> <laughs> there are some oh, crispier no. ones. The, the thinner ones are the thinner ones are crispy. Oh, okay. This this chip. I'll, you want, is this chip? Okay. Yes, I can go ahead. Wow, bland. That's crazy. You hear that crispy? I crunch. do like the sweet potato chip. And you have the option if you'd like I'm after you have your first one. for after you have your floppy one. <laughs> 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 okay, so this is a shrimp burger with a spicy lime slaw. Um, an old bay mayo. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh. So there's one side of the burger that's extremely um, loved. Go for that. Loved. The, it was well loved by the oil. Yeah. So the evenness of the fry is a little We're dealing off. with new cooktops. Brooke got the big, okay, Brooke got okay. the big burner. <laughs> Boo hoo. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. She had so much more to say immediately about yours. <laughs> the jalapeno is wonderfully punchy. It's a little extra oily. However, there is a really great crispness. This does remind me of something that you would get in the summertime. Like at a rest stop. <laughs> like, oh um, my God. Oh, like a 7 Eleven. Oh, no. <laughs> I think if you didn't have the jalapeno, like that was worth, how much did it cost you? 29 cents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that was worth every cent. This one is getting your a healthy serving of oil in. It's gonna be extremely filling, but the flavor is there. Like, None of those words are good words. <laughs> <laughs> None of those words are good. This would have been better if you had just left the sweet potato chips off or only put like the three that are good on. So I'm also, I feel like it's not fair for me to judge on the chips. I do welcome it. I think that's great that you added that in. That shows that like you had a lot of confidence going into it. This is unfair because you made four, he made three. <laughs> and that I feel like should dock you almost out of the competition because that's unfair. I'm taking price out of the entire conversation. I'm not thinking about price. This is purely on flavor. Damn. And this is also purely on the burger that I had and which one I'm gonna say I would want another bite of. And based off of that decision, I am going to chew the shrimp. What? 
This must be real nasty. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do want to. I do want to try. First of all, thank you. Of course. I'm hyped. It's not even nasty. What happened? <laughs> so the shrimp burger to me, the flavors are more bold, and I like bold flavors. I love your burger. I'm not saying I don't love it. I think I had a lot of really lovely things to say about Honestly, it. Honestly, a lot more nice things to say about you. I think I was mine. going in on yours more because I liked it more, and I was like trying to see what I didn't like about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no idea how this happened. You gotta head out, Jules. You managed to upset both of us. <laughs> and you called me a winner. I said that yours was good. Okay. you're mad. I'm mad. We're gonna sort this out between the two of us. At this point, I almost wanna take the L so that there is a definitive loser. I'm less compet I'm almost competitive enough. But listen, I, first of all, let's try each other. I think we should. Okay. I'm I need to know yours. what I'm up against here. Mmm. Very good. My only, truly, my main note would be I just don't get a lot of sauce. I know. I'm I just kidding. want more. I put, I think the reason, like, when Julia was saying mine was oily is that I just put truly, like, a third of a cup of mayo on my burgers. I can get you some more sauce, but that's the only thing. <laughs> this is actually really good, though. You're right. It is like I have a lot of, a lot more different flavors. Mine was kind of like mostly bougie. <laughs> Which is fine because it was good, but it has a little bit more going on. And I think the fact that you grabbed some more fresh veg than I did mm. definitely is what helped you out. These stores right. are like so similar. It kind of makes sense that they would be really tight. I'm not mad that you won on that one. I'm not mad that you won on budget. I'm not mad about today. I am mad about my sweet potato chips. I am mad about this. chips. Since this one was a tie, we want you guys to decide who won in the comments. Let us know what you think. Let us know which burger you'd rather try. Also, if you have other ideas for different grocery stores, mm -hmm. like I, there are so many different grocery stores, leave us a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe here on the Delish YouTube channel and head on over to delish.com for amazing recipes, food ideas, and other grocery shopping hacks.